Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at trigonometry in 3D. Now, um, obviously, all this means is more trigonometry, but in three dimensions. I'm only going to be using Pythagoras' theorem and Sokotoa in this lesson. But as you'll see, the fact that we're dealing with three dimensional shapes makes the whole thing more tricky. So I'm going to, do I'm going to look at two examples. One is a cuboid. So here's a cuboid. Obviously, the points look A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is in this is a cuboid in three dimensions. This length is 10, the kind of depth is 7, and the height is 5 units, let's say. Find the length A, H. So this is kind of a typical question here. I'm going from A, from A to H. So it's kind of, if you can imagine a box, it's going from one corner to kind of the opposite corner up here. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is, and again, it's quite hard to actually draw, or to, it's quite hard to visualize this, because again, we're dealing in three dimensions. But if I get this red line here, right, this is going from A to C. Hopefully, you can see that this triangle here is actually a right angle triangle. Look, that blue down to C and over to A. This would be a right angle here because, again, we're dealing in 3D. So this is like the top of the box coming straight down to the bottom corner of the box and then over here. So that's obviously a right angle. So if I could get this, the length of this red side, then surely, well, that would be, yeah, I could use Pythagoras' theorem to get the length of the blue which would be hypotenuse, because I have this side here. But I don't have the length of this red side. But what I do have is, if you can imagine, the this is like kind of, I've halved the base of this cuboid. So this red triangle, if you can visualize it, this is like the, the base of the cuboid. This is actually a right angled triangle. Now it doesn't look it here. Well, let me use a different color. It doesn't look it because, uh, again, we're dealing with th in 3D. But imagine that, that is actually a right angle there. If you look straight down from the top of the box, as you look down here, you would see a right angle here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to draw, I'm going to draw these new triangles. So this is 10. This length is 10. This length is 7. And this is my red length that I'm looking for. This is 10, this is 7, and let's call that x. So this is my red shaded triangle. This is this. OK, now what I'm going to do is use Pythagoras' theorem to find x. So let's say this is part a. x squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared x squared equals 100 plus 49, 149. x equals the square root of 149, which is, I have my square root there, 149, 12.2066, 12.2066. So this length here is 12.2066. And now I have this, let's say this blue triangle here, I have this length and I have this length. So, and I'm trying to find, I am trying to find the hypotenuse again. So, let's draw this and this and this. Let's just try that. Okay, this is a right angle here. And actually, you can name these points if you want. This is C, this is H, and this is A. And this is my blue shaded triangle. Now I have this, this AC is 12.2066. I can name this one if you want. Look, this was A, um, A, B, C, A, B, C. So this is 12.2066. This height is five. And again, I'm just using um, Pythagoras' theorem. I'm gonna call it Y, just so I don't get confused with this X here. So Y squared equals five squared plus 12.2066 squared, and then y equals the square root of this, 
the square root of 5 squared plus 12.2066 squared. Y equals the square root of 5 squared, not plus there, plus 12.2066 squared. Press enter, and I get 13.1909. 13.1909. Does that make sense in context? Yeah, why not? It's not too it's not too crazy an answer. Okay, so that is how I find a h. Next part it says find the angle the angle h a c. Okay, so what he's looking for is this angle here. Let's shade it in. He's looking for this angle here. H A C. Now I have this. Look, I have this tr this blue triangle drawn. So H A C is this angle here. So if I want to do, let's do part B over here. B. Um. Okay. So I have this. I have the opposite. I have the adjacent. I actually have the hypotenuse if I wanted it. But let's stick with the opposite and the adjacent. I'm going to say the tan of, let's call it theta, tan theta, equals 5 over 12.2066. So theta equals, I'm going to do the inverse. What happened here? I'm going to do the inverse tan of Let's do this. 5 over 12.2066. 5 over 12.2066. Press enter, and I get 22.2747 degrees. 22.2747 degrees. And that's, that is my angle. OK, hopefully that was straightforward. The second question I'm going to do is less less straightforward. So it says, here I have a square based, a square based um, pyramid, find the length VM. So I need this length VM. Okay. You'll find these questions often involve a lot of um, problem solving. Now, what I have here is, um, this is a square. Yep. So this is a square, which means this is 60, this is 60, this is 60. All these sides are 60. And this is the center of the pyramid. So if I draw this to this here, this length, this blue length, has to be 30 because it's half of 60. This is all a square. So this is going from the center to the midpoint here. Um, I think, yeah, the question should probably say, that this is the midpoint of um, BC. So M is in the middle of BC. Now, what I'm going to do is join this down to here. So the length VM, let's call this X. I now just have another, this is a right angle, another right angle triangle. So I'm going to say A is X squared equals 30 squared plus 42 squared x equals the square root the square root of 30 squared plus 42 squared which equals square root 30 squared plus 42 squared 51.614 51.614. Does that seem fine? Yeah, I think it does. Right. Find the area of triangle V, B, C. Okay. Um, right. Let's actually draw this triangle V, B, C. So here I have V, B, C. Um, 
this is V, this is B, and this is C. Now remember, M is here, it's the middle of this. So M is, let's, um, let me just change this color here to black so I can draw a blue line straight down here. Okay, so for, from V to M, this is actually the mid, this is the midpoint, and it is, a, it is like the height of the triangle, if you like. So we know this length VM, it's 51.614. I'm just gonna write 51.614. And we know that the base is 60, so BC is 60, or 30 and 30, if you like. So the area of a triangle, the area of the triangle equals a half base times height, which is equal to a half. The base is 60 and the height is 51.614. And this gives me a half. I'm going to do 0 0.5 for a half. A half times 60 times 51.614 1548.42 what did I say 1548.42 um, if it's centimeters centimeters squared or whatever so that's the area of my triangle. Finally, find the angle between the line VM and the plane ABCD. Okay, let's be careful here. So this is the plane. When he says find the angle between the line and the plane, what he's looking for, uh, I'm just going to write here, I want to make sure that it is clear that M is the midpoint of BC. So just M is right in the middle of BC. That, is, that actually is important. So when he says find the angle between VM and the plane, what he's looking for is this angle here. Because there's the plane. If you if, Imagine if you put a pencil against a table and, and slanted it, it's that angle there that he wants. Now, I'm going to do part C over here. So I have this triangle again. I have the opposite and the adjacent. So I'm going to say tan of, let's call it theta. Tan of theta equals 42 over 30. Theta is going to be the inverse tan of 42 over 30. So I'm going to do inverse tan of 42 over 30. 42 over 30, giving me an angle of 54.4623, 54.4623 degrees. Okay, Whew, that was more difficult than I was expecting. That's trigonometry in 3D. I've, I've only used, well, I've used Pythagoras, Sokotoa, and the area of a triangle rule. Um, the only other question that you could be asked here would be find the, the angle between the line VB and BC. Imagine you were asked to find that angle here. Well, in order to find that, you would need to, um, well, you could use this, you could use this, um, this triangle here and use Sokotoa, you know this length and you know this length. Or if you knew this length and this length, you could, and this length, you could you could use the cosine rule or possibly the sine rule if and when you have learned how to do them. Um, okay, but the main thing to do is figure out what they're asking and then draw triangles and draw, like separate out the triangles like this, I find it always helps you. Obviously, I've got the luxury of having different colors, but if you can 
well, if you have different colors, use them. But if you can just visualize the triangle, what that's going on, and write it out here, it'll make the, the question a lot easier. Okay, see you in the next lesson.